Welcome to the Albion TV War Reports, your source of live battle coverage featuring the top guilds and alliances of Albion Online. Today is the 1st of February, 2021, and I am your host, the chosen one. And joining me today on the play-by-play, -play, we have Robin Hood RS and we have Bogle on the back-end camera. We are currently on a 15-minute delay, but we're watching XHT from Rage Control. Uh, uh, get his mammoth kind of chewed up on here. Robin, do you think he's going to be okay? It looks like he's uh, completely surrounded here. I think Blue Army just came in over the top end onto the back end of... Yeah, they did. If you want to hop over onto King Mojo, XHG is going to be fine. This is the backup squad coming in for um, Rage Control here. Black Order completely crushing Rage Control on the engagement. Now there's the battle with the Titans. Blue Army versus... Black Order on the field in Iceburn Peaks. And it is a wild back and forth. The melees are causing chaos on both sides of the table here. And uh, Mojo needs to find his front line. At the moment, it's a very messy fight indeed. Another blob just joined in on the northwest side. Cluster Q's activated. Big Camline clump to the south here. Nice engagement. The counter comes in. The Siege Bowl player there countering onto the tanks of Blue Army's front line. And look at this. Black Order coming around on the northwest side as well, pinning the back end of Blue Army. Big Camline clump onto the front line on Mojo. No follow up damage at all. The defensive locus is coming out. Blue Army trying to gain that southwest vision advantage. I see them wrapping around to the southwest. Down the hill, more reinforcements coming in for Black Order. POE, Hammer, and Sickle have joined the fight as well. They're going to be ba uh, backing up Blue Army here. The deletion comes in onto that clump of Black Order. The rotation is coming in, though. Look at this Camline clump coming in on the southeast side. But the counter comes in. Enematic staff protecting that whole entire clump there of Blue Army. It looks like it's not looking good for Black Order here. They're going to be rotating to the southeast side, trying to maybe buy some time here for the next wave of Cluster Q. I don't know if reinforcements are coming in, but it looks like Black Order are trying to exit trying out. Trying to get to the out. Southeast. Yeah, they're yep. trying to flee as much as they can, but it looks like King Mojo is positioning his boys to be in the way of the retreating Black Order with 35 seconds left on the cluster queue. It does not look good for Black Order. I mean, it, you said it. They just kind of got stomped here. It wasn't much of a contest. It was more of a, hey, let me just uh, execute my play on top of your guys. Goodbye. Good night. You're done, son. Yep. And, and where uh, Mojo is right now, this is where... Uh, rage control initially got wiped as we were coming in obviously we were watching the command mum of rage control black order did a really solid solid job of wiping out rage control on this choke point but they overextended the zerg right down the road trying to focus on the cleanup on the command mammoth didn't notice blue army was wrapping around from the northwest side of the map blue army then obviously engaged right into the back end of black order reinforcements coming in for poe coalition and i mean shiro was by himself for that engagement he had no backup from anyone else and uh i got some interesting yeah. action over here in river corpse path as alaz is engaging with reject party nope uh one punch man oh wow this is going to be an interesting battle here we are on the tank here it's got the avalon and hammer nice clump armor pierce onto the front line here comes the melee spinning in the back end nice use of the beetle there silencing the whole entire zerg there the push is real is this going to be a wipe here onto solar guard by the very small group of alas here it looks like it's going to be cleanup crew or tank there noticing that there's going to be a juicy mist piercer in front of him. He's going to get stopped though by the tank. The tank there sacrificing himself. You know the mist piercer, depending what it is. It's we're talking in the region of a mil plus for the weapon. Ooh, it can I'll take all it. the way up to about four mil, depending. Four mil? Yeah, that thing is the juice at the moment. Syndic, okay. Loxu or Lugzy? Loxef. Loxef. Or Let's figure out how to spell his name. There we go. Alrighty. Ooh, wow. Scoitel here. Pushing down onto the front lines of Elevate here. Nice Camline Clump. The counter damnation Pierce though coming out onto the front line. The boys in uh POE need to be careful here. The clumps are coming in, but they are armor pierced here. They need to be careful. Nice counter clump here onto the front line. Defensive knockback. Gonna miss everybody there by Loxu. And now we're going to see a full-blown push. Look at that. The damage coming out. The brimstone's raining down here. The counter camline clump's coming out. 
And um, Boitel here backing all the way up out of this fight, getting pushed back here. Surf also involved. And it uh, looks like our boy's going to be backing out. I wonder if Syndic is still involved in the action. He is indeed. If we want to switch over to Syndic's point of view, mm -hmm. he is fully engaged in the same zone. He has one punch man on his screen. Going to be pushing him back just a little bit here. They are a little bit grouped up. Looking for the next counter engagement. They are getting pushed back, it seems, to the northwest side. There's a flank coming in by Raid on the northeast side. He needs to be careful. Surf coming from his southwest. Going to see how Syndic plays this situation here. Looks like it's going to be a full push onto Raid's eastern side. Big clumps coming in. The def defensive knockback there by the command man of, of Raid. But Raid are splitting off. They're doing they're doing well to try and not clump up. I'm wondering where the engagement is from Surf because now... Well, there's the also a, a big banana and uh, AAA are, are to the south as well. So... There's a bunch of different groups here, and they have to be careful because they don't want to friendly engage. They don't want to end up hitting their own guys. They got to be careful. One Punch Man, Surf, go. Raid, all in the same zone, and trying to be careful when they engage on top of Syndic here. And yeah, it looks like Surf has gone in, and oof, it was a big oof because the defensives were up, and Syndic is marching through. Is he going to take this right through Surf into Raid and make them go over top of each other? I think it, he is. It looks like it. Yep, because at the same time, Elevate were rotating around the northwest side. Syndic saw that, so he chose to come right down through Raid here. It looks like it's going to be a full retreat because there's no way in hell PoE CIR can handle three different flanks from some of the top guilds we currently have in the ZBZ platform. And uh, reinforcements are coming in. I don't know who they're going to be for on the southwest gate in the southeast. I'm going to quickly check, but Syndic is on the run. That's going to be more one punch man, that massive blob and triple A coming in. So a good timely retreat here for the mammoth uh, Syndic is riding. We have seen him lose quite a few in the past. Oz versus... Avoid me? Alrighty, yep. I'm on top of it. AVA Alliance. Nice Avalonian hammer engagement comes in. There comes the Camline clump to follow it up. Perfect engagement here by Alaz. Defensives are burned for the the boys in AVA. All the Judies are down. Locust was burned as well. Alaz not overextending though. They are getting bullied by the melees in their backline. They're getting pummeled here at the moment. Nice defensive inertia ring coming down here as they are trying to kite back through this choke point to the eastern side. Chosen. This Robin. is the smallest choke point I've ever seen in my life. I, I can't even see it. It's so small. I need... Hold on. I got a magnifying glass. Our tank here misses the reset. <laughs> oh, Looking no. for another clump here on the oh, choke point. No. Getting zero Get heal. Back. What a ballsy play here by our Get tank. Back. He goes down. I don't know why he didn't pick up the uh, the reset. He oh, wanted that no. re-engagement. I'm trying to look for another tank here um, for the Alaz boys. I don't uh, have a tank, but I have another name. I um, have one. Holistic okay, Rogue. Focus. Thank you. Look at that. Our cameraman on point today. Shame that I cannot spell. <laughs> Holistic robe. Rogue? I, I, oh, I, rogue. No wonder I couldn't spell it. Having trouble as well. What the hell? But they are getting wrapped here. AVA actually choosing the smart play to go all the way southwest and around. They're going to get hit from the back end. Solar Guard from the AAA Alliance. That got wiped by these men before looking for some blood. And Alaz getting clumped and dumped here. Perfect Kalman engagement. Well, they're there regrouping and the they're Arbor getting Pierce. another engagement in this. They're not getting deleted and they're not running away. They are losing members, falling back, hitting again and again. This is what I like to see. I don't like it when you just see everybody run for their lives. I like when they're like, we're going to get out of here. We're going to die trying. Yeah. Why isn't... Yo, my commands are not working, by the way. That's why I'm just in free roam at the moment. Hold on, take it over a minute. All right, well, we do have Holistic Rogue going, and they got a nice clump against Solar here. And now it does seem like they're trying to regroup, get some resets underneath them. I thought they were going to follow that up. They had Solar Guard in a good position there. But instead, it seems like they're just going to fall back and wait till they all get regrouped, get some good heals. Actually, it looks like Triple A has engaged as well. So this is a three-pronged attack between Ava and... Triple A and Alaz. A lot of A's in this group. What? All the A's. I'm back All in the, the action. A plus action here on AOTV. 
Hey, Laz, not not many there. guys in the Laz left here. They <laughs> they need they to regroup hard. Yeah, they got they got split pretty hard. Avoid the AVA boys coming in from the western side, splitting up this engagement. They're in full kite mode at the moment. Alaz looking for a regroup. There comes the reset. Only two people are going to be getting it there. I'm not sure if they're looking for another turn. They I are, think they're just they're trying, trying to, to regroup here. They're trying to get, like, they have three different groups of Alaz in this zone. They went in three different directions. That was uh, always a problem when you have that happen. But when you have multiple pronged attack against you, sometimes that happens. You have people coming in different directions. But there's Ooh. a lot of triple A and A left, so... I think this is going to be all she wrote for Alaz. They're going to go down fighting. Yeah, they just got pincered from the north there. They are holding on for one more engagement reset in the front line. Nobody picks up that reset. What was that fall? I mean, the fallen was good. It just no one else got the heels on that uh, on that yeah. drop down. Solar Guard, though, rotating around the northwest side here, trying to pincer them one more time. Our tank looking for an engagement. Silent Pool comes out. Defensive inertia ring there um, by Solar Guards. Here comes the permafrost engagement. Cowman followed up, only going to get one. Actually doesn't even pick off a single guy with that engagement. The return comes in. Nice clump just to the southwest of our screen here. Nice damage. Snare charge follow up. Permafrost uh, or anything. Brimstone. Something Nothing on top of that, but one or two members but still going to go it. down to the halberd bleed. These guys are still working it. This is impressive that they're still alive here against what I would consider overwhelming forces. Indeed, and look at this. One this punch match. The AAA alliance was like, yeah. copy, copy. We need backup here. We got a group of 10 players. We need full blown backup, boys. And here comes You know who's one got full blown backup, uh, Robin, is King Mojo on my other screen here is in the thick of it right now versus Black Order. There is a full on massive battle here as these two powerhouses go head to head. I'm hopping on over. As Alaz and Raid was. has joined up too, so it's Black Order and Raid versus Blue Army. I'm wondering if we have more on the field as well, and we just haven't seen them yet, as there are skulls all over this T5 blob. Yeah, this is this is madness. It looks like Mojo, though, putting full pressure onto the back end of Black Order. Black Order is probably going to be looking for a return engagement. Split pretty heavily. Hero on a sliver of health on that Kamamam up to our eastern side here. Mojo, though, going for a very tight choke point. Black Order could do a turn on this choke point if they wanted to, but they are getting pressure from all sides here. Look at this clump getting caught off guard on the northwest side. It is a wild bloodbath at the moment. The melees are chomping away. Nice armor pierce right through that clump of Black Order. Another two members going to go down. Two Kamamamas on the field for Blue Army on this engagement. Obviously, double the... Uh, the, the defensive's coming out here as the, the white circle around the command moment gives a little bit of a defensive boost for everyone inside. It looks like it's cleaned up and done yeah. versus Black Order. Blue yeah, Army going to be mounted Fred up. We just saw Fred Riddick go down, uh, one of the shot callers for these guys. This is There's not much left, and it looks like BA's repositioning to get another flank. Yep, it looks like the western side is still... <laughs> it's The action's still going. Uh, Mojo, though... Gets the info he needs. They're going to be flanking around the back end. He should be coming on to the back end of all the cloffies of whoever are fighting up here on the northwest angle. Mamono it's going to be Raid. fighting over there, yeah. But he's uh, on his last points. Yeah, it looks like Hopefully. POE has taken down Mamono over here. Not much left of the Raid Alliance. Yep. I'm going to head over to Mamono's perspective to get a better view on things. Yep, and here it is. The pins are coming in. Oh, not much left to, at all. Only two guys left, and we get here just in time to watch them go down. Yep, pincer maneuver there. Hammer and Sickle cleaning up Raid on the western side while Blue Army cleaned up Black Order on the east. Shiro made it out alive, I believe, on his Kamam Amuff as well, mm -hmm. even though he had like probably like 100 HP left on that. There is some Black Order to the eastern side. It's not all over. Maybe this is a little bit mini bomb squad here for Black Order. Uh, Custer's Q is still active. They're not going to be able to get away here. Some more free loot bags, it seems. Questionable play there by that group of Black Order. Maybe they were looking for a... I've got more action on uh, Not. Why this game? Over here, he is completely engaged with Adewell. And Blue Army, actually. Oh, wow. Okay.
reject party are they on the defensive or are they offensive it looks, it looks like, like they're, they're offensive, offensive. There, it looks like the, why this game also known as why this engage is going in deep here all alone waiting for his dps to catch up he might want to hold that e for a few seconds he's in trouble he yeah he now he's here. in trouble oh, look boy. at the mini map there's a massive cliff to his west um yeah he's got to get back up over the top here get back to his boys he's gonna need a pocket heal real soon oh, not God. much out here for him Ah, uh, he's gonna They're get back wrapped through the Ooh. nastiest little choke I ever seen. Oh That's boy! Disgusting. And look at them bombing over the top here. I like this as a last stand, but that's what this is gonna be. It's gonna be a last stand. I don't see a way out of this unless they really engage the northeast here, clean these guys out, and follow through and push hard onto Russian Guild. Yeah, you you take the the easy route and PF one also here. That's gonna be their allies at least. That's that's their allies. So not just have to focus on blue army here. If they can clean up this uh, group of blue army that just bombed them over the clifftop, why this game just taking a scenic route? Is it well, he Zerg bombed Artista nice. pretty good. If he can yeah. get some follow up on top of that, it would be nice. But it doesn't look like any follow up is alive. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like half of Reject Party is down below. Half of them is up top. They are not all together here. And our tank whew, in a bad spot. Very bad spot. He's going to get singled out here. I think the western side of uh, FB1 just collapsed as well. Look at this. Re oh, get that clock. Get oh, it. There oh. it is. They just fully engaged on the back end of Blue Army. Our tank a little bit confused because he just engaged he just his friendlies here. He just bombed his own guys. Here. We're yeah, going to have to find ourselves a new tank. He's still alive. I mean, he has no party the right guys. engagement. He's, uh, not alive anymore. I believe... Jonku is the shock order for Blue Army here. It is indeed. He's going to be steamrolling through that group of uh, PF1. Sorry, not FB1. PF1 here as they get pushed out to the southeast side. Waterwell also here on the battlefield working alongside Blue Army. Here comes another big Kalman engagement to the southeast side. Damage raining down onto that choke point. It's going to be a deletion here. Waterwell just standing around. Wondering what they need to do. Not much because the action looks like it's done and dusty here as more reinforcements come steaming in for the POE coalition in Thunder Rock Upland. Rob, we need to take a look and see what's going on with those hideouts across the world. We are now 12 minutes into the action, you know, past the hour. We should be able to find out what's going on with the hideouts, see if any of these things are actually in danger of losing a shield or being reset. Yeah, well, we only had two major um, hideouts under attack today, and that's both in Thunder Rock Draw. One under construction here by Sloth as well. So far, so good. There is nothing happening here. Sloth defending their hideouts, but... Is Mojo fighting remaining. Elevate? What's that? No, no, I was just checking something. Okay. I saw Elevate and Blue Army on the same screen. It's just one guy. Defensives are down, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Armor Pierce connecting, Permafrost connecting on the back end. A lot of death happening here for PoE, but here comes the return engagement. Quite the we return. See how Syndic always turns and burns. He doesn't stop his engagement. And look, look at, at that, that. Avo bow just oh, piercing wow. that One, club. two, three, go down. And so many more are fleeing for their lives. Well done on that turn by Syndic here. And he's got these guys from Blaze in a full-on retreat. Surf needs to get some of their guys to come in. Hit something. There's a nice clump, but where's the follow there it And is. there it is. That's going to make him pay. Wow. Coming from all directions. Just deleting everything that CIR had in that push. Here comes AAA as well. One Punch Man coming over the top. Coming from the northwest. Trying to cut off Syndic and CIR. They might be able to do it too. I, I don't see any reinforcements here. They're going to have to call for King Mojo. Yep, reset coming down. CIR holding on for dear life here. They're trying to work their way towards maybe the southeast door, maybe the territory. Uh, cluster queues is activated, but it's going to be quite a while until the next wave of reinforcements come in. Syndic's popping his sprint. His men are trying to catch up behind him. I don't know if they're looking for a turn. Okay, he's posturing up here. He's trying to bait them maybe through a choke point. He's trying to find something. A lot of reinforcements yeah, I don't see a choke point around here. They're going to have POE. to go to the east and up a hill. That's the only choke point I see, but they're not going to go for it. It looks like they're just going to turn, take the vision advantage, and move into their opponent who's half-mounted. Yeah, well, 
Looks like uh, Pro Wakajaka has joined the fight as well for Pee-wee. Oh, nice engagement. Backup. That's a clump and dump right there onto One Punch Man. I don't know if we're going to see a return engagement. One Punch Man holding on strong. No, not for long. But look at this. Surf come crashing in from the eastern side. Defensive knockback here from the command man of Permafrost just ripping apart the back end of PoE on this engagement. I think this this is when we call it because if Surf don't give up the pressure here, they can steamroll over the top of PoE. But look at this. The melee's just chomping away those Clarent Blades, tearing apart the back end Too of the much retreat damage forces on the mammoth here, of PoE. Though. I'm not sure if they can hold on for much longer here. Surfer just wrapping around constantly. We see him coming in on the northeast side. Defensive Icicle coming out from Surf. They're trying to stop this engagement coming in. Big Camline Clump just west of Syndic there. No defensives at all, but the Nothing. pressure is yeah, still Yeah, they just got stomped here. over. Well, the thing is, is that they're waste. It feels like they're targeting Syndic too much. Not anymore, but early on. And they had a really good opportunity to take down a lot of these guys around him. But they get drawn to that name. They see it. They're like, ooh, I want that. That's the big one. Let me take that. The experienced player knows you take down the people around him until there's nothing left. you got to whittle down these forces of CIR. These are all very skilled players. They know what they're doing. You have to take them down. Yep, and reinforcements now come Here's streaming in for PoE here. Mm -hmm. Cluster Q's not activated oh. anymore, so all reinforcements can freely enter at the moment. And now we're seeing... PoE once again group up surf to the northwest side here. Nice Camline Clump. The deletion's oh, gonna be gonna nasty be a deletion on that. against those 12 guys. They are done. And they keep pushing the pressure forward to the north. There's gonna be a lot of dead surf there. Somebody uh, caught the wrong wave. Oof. Oof. Got pushed out to see you later. And where's where's the remaining forces i mean surely they're not all dead okay we have another group of surf directly to the western side of syndic but it looks like they are retreating northwest monkey joining the field now as well cluster q still not activated so reinforcements once again can come freely into the zone if needs be but jungle are just getting walked over by this group of PR, uh, cir at the moment can they get a turn in them Syndic is turning himself. He's looking for that one lonely Camlan tank. Maybe that's the shock caller. I don't know. But uh, it looks like it's done here. How did that happen? How'd they pull this off? Gotta, gotta believe in, in your support players and your healers. And your backup. And your backup, yep. They did show up. They showed up in force. Well yep, done, Provocatia coming in at the exact right time and saving CAR, holding them up for just long enough until BA could get here and overwhelm their opposition with numbers. Yep, Pro Wakajaka riding in over the hilltop just in time. Just like Lord of the Rings. With, with that one scene, I can't remember who it was. Was it the Riders of Rohan yeah, coming in? Yeah, up. that's yeah. it. With Gandalf? Yep. The big bright light and the yeah, that that was luster the... ko coming in over the top gandalf coming in with his massive grove keeper ready to impact on the western side disgusting plays but uh god damn yo i didn't even notice it's 20 minutes past so that means all the all the hideouts yeah all the hideouts should be reset um mm -hmm. i believe sloth have defended their hideouts and they the did. one that was getting placed up in uh was it from the rock upland mm-hmm well, I didn't see Upland. Oh, I, I saw draw. the draw. draw. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it is uh, still under construction phase, but they are here. They're they're fine. Uh, no enemies in sight, I believe. Oh, this is Sloth. Uh, with a nice 29% debuff here, just chilling in the zone. And before we leave, I need to tell our audience where they can find our our previous shows chosen. And that's on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Albion. Uh, TV, there we go. Got there in the end. YouTube.com you forward slash Albion TV, where <laughs> you can find our 5v5s, 20 versus 20 Crystal League coverage, all the ZVZ action from the war reports. The invasion days are up, by the way, and they were a freaking banger. Both EU and A, the best invasion day that Albion's ever had. I'm pu I'm saying it now, it hands down the best. So if you if you want to watch some insane action, I, bo I believe both shows are an hour long on the upload. So enjoy that on our YouTube channel. Interviews as well, but mainly our interviews can be found elsewhere. Can't they show them? On SoundCloud. 
youtube.com forward slash Albion TV or any place that you listen to podcasts. You can just go ahead and type Albion TV into your search bar. And guess what? It'll show up. Glorious. You can listen to some amazing interviews. We just put up a couple new ones. And uh, yeah, we had one yesterday with Gong Shim of One Punch Man. That was a pretty good one. And the week before that, who did we have the week before that, Bogum? Nomad Puncho, one of the more famous Albion streamers, also known as Stabber. Mm. I hear he's pretty good. I think he has blue hair. Yeah, he does have blue hair now because apparently he did a uh, charity stream. Mm -hmm. Raised some money for some rare diseases or to fight, not for rare, uh, to fight rare diseases. <laughs> important, know? yes. Yeah, a very important distinction there. And uh, one of his uh, community members hit the uh the barrier for blue hair all by himself he's like i want to see that blue hair go pure ninja on me man go do it and and now he is and he's got some fancy blue hair it looks pretty good on the man so do check him out on his stream or uh listen to the interview and Bogo, we got another interview coming up sunday that's a an interesting one isn't it oh are we doing the, the huh Raul. I, I was going to say the full stack web guy thing, dude. Yes. SBI dude. Yeah. What, what what does he do? Well, I don't even know, but I, I think he explains it. He right? is the head of the web development team right now and uh, keeping the the front end and the back end working in unison. And uh, mm -hmm. you'll never see what he does if he does it well. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Actually, no. He's got some plans to bring out some really cool things that you will see in the future. But right now, they're just working on stability. And you can hear all about that next Sunday as we interview Raul. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Let's get out of here. I need to click a few buttons and we need to visit the toilets and let this delay run out. And then we just need to start the next show in like three minutes, two minutes. Yeah, sounds good. All righty. See you later. Keep it classy, Albion. We're out.